Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. So, this is the image of today's case. First, go through it and come to your own diagnosis. Then, we will continue with the case discussion. Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss case number 17 in GIT control studies. Today our patient is a 22 year old patient presented with chronic vomiting, anorexia and early satiety. So this is the anteroposterior spot radiograph of the upper GI control study. Actually it's an uh, barium meal and follow through study. So you can see a uh, abnormality here in the middle part of the third part of the duodenum just abrupt or sudden cut off of contrast in, so here you can see the you can see sudden cut off of contrast in the middle part of the third part of the duodenum and there's dilatation of the proximal part and uh, so and also you can see and slow passage of contrast into the rest of the third part of the duodenum, fourth part and the upper jejunum. So, so there's some kind of a obstructive pathology in the third part of the duodenum. And however the stomach and the first and second part of the duodenum appear normal and they are at the normal position. DJ flexure is also at the normal position and uh, no problems or issues in the upper jejunum no contrast leakage into the peritoneal cavity no abnormal fistula tracts visualize bones also normal so there's an abrupt cut off abrupt cut off of contrast you can see so in this case the diagnosis is sma syndrome Differential diagnosis are uh, neoplasms you have to suspect, neoplasms causing external compression of the duodenum, and also you have to suspect uh, mega colon, mega duodenums, mega duodenums. It can be hereditary. or can be a, gangli a ganglionosis a ganglionosis so mega duodenum can also be present in children or in the later childhood actually the sma syndrome is due to compression of third part of the duodenum by the superior mesenteric artery and the aorta so the acute there will be acute angle between that superior mesenteric artery and the aorta so the third part of the duodenum is compressed so so this patient develop this anorexia loss of appetite and uh, actually and uh, early satiety vomiting epigastric pain those are the symptoms the patients will have so that concludes case number 17 in GIT contrast studies. Please subscribe our YouTube channel then you will get notifications of our new videos and also you can comment on our videos. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this.